and we're back. Another one that a lot of people have asked for a tapping sequence on is for resistance to doing things. Um, in the system that I use, we call that inertia, and it often has to do with the lower burner because there's the head, the chest, the pelvis. So what this one will do, whether it's um, the things that I have inertia on, would be my taxes and dishes. If I walk into the kitchen and I see there's a load of dishes, the first thing I do is I don't want to do it. There's resistance to me wanting to get it done. The same with if I'm sitting down to do my taxes, I have a strong desire not to do them, even though they've got to be done. So what this technique's going to do is it helps get rid of the inertia or your resistance to doing something. Could be resistance to studying, could be resistance to going to work, any, anything where you feel you, you know you know it has to be done or you want to do it but yet part of you doesn't want to and what this starts off with it's about an inch into the hairline or you can use where the crack of your hand is place that on the bridge of your nose and wherever the middle finger stops on your head that's going to be your first point and you're going to massage that and take a deep breath in of course while you're thinking about your taxes, not wanting to study, whatever it is that bothers you. That's point one. You're going to massage that while you breathe in and out two or three times. The next one is you can put your hand where your belly button is because you need to go directly back to where straight across from where your belly button is. It's really close to lumbar two. So if you know where lumbar two is, that's great. If not, just put your belly button there, your hand over your belly button. And then you're going to rub, not up and down, but you're going to rub back and forth pretty firmly while you take a couple deep breaths in, while you're thinking about your taxes. This one actually does work best if you can get skin on skin instead of rubbing through clothing. The next one is this area of each one of your arms you're going to rub in a circular pattern together. While you take a deep breath in, while you're thinking about how much you don't want to do whatever it is you're trying to avoid. Whether it's having a conversation with somebody, and what this will do is it will help move you through it so that it's easier for you to get things done. So go back to rubbing the top. Take a couple deep breaths in. This could be maybe you don't like to exercise, you know, and you have resistance to it. Put your hand across for the belly button. Rub straight across the back. Make sure you're breathing. And you may have to do it two or three times. And then we'll do it one more time. Put the hand on the nose where the middle finger ends. Take a deep breath in. Once you get to know where that spot is on your back, rub across. And then rub together. And you'll notice over time, or even sometimes right away, you won't have the resistance to doing whatever it is that needs to be done. And that's the next one.